How you going, RPG fans? Um, I've been taking a couple of days off so I can brush up on some gaming. Uh, I've been sussing through Dark Year Chronicles, beautiful little game on the PS3. Um, going for really cheap right now. This was the first great PS3 game that ever came out. Um, uh, I got sidetracked and I didn't finish it, so I picked it up again. Um, the bad thing was is the save file I had last time was in my old PS3 that died and um, since then I picked up the slimline and it's been running fine so I finally got the chance to pop this back in and I've gone a lot further than I did last time uh, I've been, I love this game so much but it can get really hard sometimes um, I just completed the battle of Barius the duel with Maximilian and wow that doesn't get any easier it just gets more difficult gets more difficult more difficult more difficult as time goes on and when you think you've done something that will give you the upper hand something else comes to lower it back and you know I gotta say I, I've actually enjoyed the fact that this is probably the most challenging game I've played this year um, I, I just love what they did with the game just the the watermark cell shaded visuals just absolutely gorgeous um, the characters are just so fantastic and um, you real feel for them and you can connect to them better than most RPGs. Um, the villains are awesome. Uh, I dislike Silvaria very much. She's awesome. But when you play the Jewel of Maximilian, you'll hate her guts because she kills anyone that comes near her except for Welkin and his tank. Um, oh, man. Um, like I've taken a break from playing. I just finished taking a break just then. Uh, after the video, I probably will get something to eat and get back into this. Um, the other game I've been playing is Star Ocean First Departure. I've shown you one of my pickup videos. Um, definitely have enjoying myself this time around than I did last time playing it. Because I had so many games that I wanted to play, I just pushed that to the back and eventually got rid of it. Um, this time around, I've been enjoying it a lot more. Um, I've been just mainly grinding and getting my specialties up because if you've played a Star Ocean game you know um, how big that is in making the game much more easier. And it's fun as well, it's, it's like playing a game within a game. Um, this week uh, there hasn't been anything really big but there's two things that come to mind that have taken my full attention. And the first one is if you own a PS3 and you live in Japan um, one of the coolest things I just found out is in Japan they get PC Engine games available to download which is awesome and next week on the 17th East Book 1 and 2 is going to be available and for you people in Japan you're very very lucky 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 people um, definitely I bet you everyone will be downloading it if you're an English speaking person or a Japanese person that can understand English and you haven't played eSpook 1 and 2, you must download it without hesitation. It is one of the best games you'll ever play in your life. Uh, the other big bit of news and um, comes from our good friends at SEGA is that last night they uploaded the Valkyrie Chronicles free demo for the PSP and I downloaded it and wow, my god it is just a fan friggin tastic little game um, the demo has a bit of story a couple of cutscenes and it's got two battles and the second battle can nearly take up to an hour so and that's completely free it's one of the best downloadable contents ever for the PSP this year if not ever I gotta say the game is way more appealing than the second game um, the characters are more vibrant and they're more dark. The tone of the game is more darker than the second game. And I just absolutely love it. Just what you can do. I just love the fact that in the third game you've got special abilities. Whereas you've got your command points, you've got special points. And certain characters have certain abilities like um, Rhea, who's your second in command. She's a Valkyra. And if you spend a special point on her, she'll turn into her Valkyrie form and basically go through the battlefield and anything that stands in her way 
All you have to do is just aim, fire, and they're not there anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter what defense they are, she just completely annihilates them. She's awesome. Um, the other character that's awesome is a girl named Imka, and she's a Darkson uh, heavy lancer. And she's got this weapon where if you spend a special point on her, she has this ability to target multiple enemies at once, up to about four enemies, and she lets go and completely annihilates them. It's absolutely awesome. And the main character is pretty cool, um, Kurt Irving. He's a disgraced uh, military officer who's forced to lead the Nameless, who is the squad of Valkyria Chronicles 3. And the Nameless is pretty much comprised of deserters, um, disgraced uh, criminals, and war prisoners. Um, and the Nameless are basically the everyone who joins, who is forced into the Nameless, has their name taken away, their rights taken away, and they're forced to do life-threatening missions that they will not give um, to anyone else in the military. So when they send these people out, they're not supposed to come back alive and it sets a really good tone for the game it's absolutely awesome um, the villains they're like I said I love the villains in the first game um, I don't know who the villains are in the second game I haven't got that far yet but the villains in the third game they are awesome especially the leader um, he's just really really cool uh, I was gonna show a video where I was gonna play the game but I Honestly, would rather you play the game for itself. Um, basically, if you go to Valkyria Chronicles 3 main page in Japanese, um, if you've got a good translator, you'll be able to work your way through and it should have the demo there available for you to download. It's 150 megabytes. The other option is to go to 4Gamer and apparently they have it there as well. So um, definitely download it. It's one of the best games you ever play. Even if it's just a demo, it's one of the best games I've played this year. Really looking forward to January, the end of January when the full game gets released. I was originally just going to wait for the English version to come out, but after playing the demo, I'm importing it straight away. It's a fantastic game. Um, and, I really, and I'm pretty much going to be power playing through Valkyria Chronicles, and straight after I'm going to do Valkyria Chronicles 2 before the end of January so I can get straight into Valkyria Chronicles 3 absolutely wonderful and to the guys at Sega you've done a wonderful job keep up the good work uh, next week I'm going to be finally bringing my camera out and I'm going to shoot some of the um, footage for the first episode of RPG Hunter that is going to be the name of my um, series that I'm going to be doing uh, and unlike these videos which is just the quick upload no plan whatsoever pretty much what I say even if I stuff up goes on to the um, video but when it comes to the RPG Hunter videos I am going to take my time and carefully edit these videos and present them in a really really great format like it would be something you know you'd watch on TV or one of the really good web series um, if I manage to get the thing get the um, idea kicked off I'd probably look into making a website and everything and you'll be able to watch our episodes there too. Um, this Next week I'm going to go down south to um, an area I don't visit very often. Um, I've basically researched all the stores I can possibly go to. Hopefully I'll have more luck than I did this week. This week I did a test run without my camera and I went around the areas around the Sunshine Coast where I live and unfortunately the awful truth was um, there, there is no RPGs to be found. I found a crap load of copies of uh, Shadow Hearts from A New World. Nearly everywhere I went, that was the only RPG available to get. And Final Fantasy games, but I already got all of them. So hopefully when I go down to Morrowfield, I will have better luck than I had this week. Um, I did get one game from a second-hand store I came across on my journey. And it's a game I've been looking forward to getting for a while um, and this too is a Sega game and it's um, a marvelous little game um, it's the second game and it comes from a game that's originated on the Dreamcast and this is probably the most 
primary Dreamcast game that everyone remembers that Sega poured their heart and soul into. And later on, they made a second game, and that second game got ported to the Xbox. And of course, I'm talking about Shenmue 2. Wonderful little game. Um, a lot of people say it is an RPG. I think it is in some retrospect. So, um, the Xbox version that got this for quite cheap, it got this for about um, fifteen dollars. Um, it's very hard to find uh, up in my area. Um, it's great because it also comes with a movie of the first game, which I put in as soon as I got home. Um, I just felt bad for how where the series went. I know a lot of people scream for Shenmue Three. I can see why it's an absolutely fantastic story, full of great characters. Um, definitely pioneered um, more games to be much more cinematic. You know, um, they all, everyone owes a lot to this game for what it brought to gaming. So that's it. There's really not much to talk about. Um, hopefully next week uh, after my little trip on Tuesday, I'll be able to come back and hopefully show you all the games I got. So till then, take care and enjoy whatever you're playing.